Where do you think I'm going? Felix, let's be polite. Let's not try to start any trouble. Felix Millstone's with me. Uh, Clyde Harlow's expecting us. Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you, then? Captain. Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah. I'm Felix. You're on a first-name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. Now I wish we had kind of intimidated him a little bit. And I'm glad we did bring Ellie because she's God, used to this sort of spacer politicking. Right, you two stay close. So, how long ago again did you last see... Did you last see this guy, Felix? Oh, that's a lot of outlaws. Whatever's happening here, I don't think it's above board. I don't think it's above board at all. Ooh, hello? Ex excuse... Oh, I don't like the look of you staring at me. Excuse you. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man? No, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll do my own introduction. It's, it's Gavin, Harlow. Harlow, it's, this is Gavin. Your captain has a sense of humor, Felix. Good. There's a time and place for humor. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. I don't know what you're trying to say, but he's earned his keep with us. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. Oi. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. And... How long is that going to take? Because it seems like you intend to have him here permanently. I'm afraid I have not made myself clear. Felix may have served you with childlike aplomb, but the day will come when he puts away childish things and serves a higher cause. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. Yeah. You notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. Exactly. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes... I want to know that I can rely on him. Oh, you are not to be trusted. You, so you're here to put him through, or rather you've called him here, you've beckoned him here, after not being in contact with him for God knows how long, after disappearing without a trace, and you want to put him through a loyalty test. Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him, and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. Sounds like you can't control your own people, Harlow. What did this Trask even do to deserve death? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cod were mutinied. Killed five of my own in tuck tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. Ah, here we go. So this is why you need Felix. There's far more to this than you're letting on, but... Felix, what do you think? What do you make of all this? Clyde offered me a hand when nobody else would. I'd say I owe him a good turn. There you have it, Captain. A favor for an old friend. There is far more to this than you're letting on. I do not like you one bit. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. 
get his side of the story first. My thoughts exactly, You'd be Felix. wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. This token? Well, how well do you think you know Felix? Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? Sounds like... Fe Felix strikes me as far more intelligent than you. And far more sharp. This changed the colony. It's probably just going to be nothing more than an act of terrorism, isn't it? Oh, anything else I can ask you? Let's hear it. Well... Let's start with a big one. Felix tells me you disappeared one day. I was working on this plan for years, saving every bit I could, drawing plans, biding my time. I never intended to spend my life laboring on the groundbreaker. When the opportunity presented itself, I did what I had to do. I left. You might have said something. I had some ugly business in Scylla. If I told you, I would have implicated you. You didn't need to tell him where you were going. You could have just told him you were leaving. Ugly business and sell it. Is that the blood splotches over there? You want to elaborate on that? Hephaestus controlled mining operations all over Scylla. Most of these operations failed. The company pulled out and abandoned their facilities. Mostly abandoned anyway. This one was running on a skeleton crew. My associates and I seized control in a matter of minutes. Seized control how? To violence. You say you're working on something big. Go on, out with it. What? What's so big that you would call Felix out of nowhere over? A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. Well, obviously, it, you've got a plan to overthrow the board, but what makes you think you're free out here, exactly? The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. You are all about violence, aren't you? You're, you're just a band of outlaws living on the edge of an asteroid. It's not much of a revolution. Not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, independent of any masters. But that's not that One kind day, of a rebellion. When the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. Yeah, bide your time for violence. You've just said that, oh, not all rebellions are violent, but when the day comes, we're... Oh, don't you worry, we're going to be in there guns blazing. Clearly you're after the board. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually, the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. Ready, okay. Let's... let's just go. That's all I had to ask for now. And is it me, or did you name... your canid after yourself? Is he in the process of making a scrap mechanical, do you think? I want to have a... bit of a scooch around before we leave. Been ages since we had a good haul. No freighters, no jobs, no contracts to keep. Just standing around kicking rocks. Sounds like his crew's a bit restless. Let's um have a quick old look. Let's open the last entry first of all. Harlow's crew terminal. 
Welcome to the high ground, soldier. Oh, the moral high ground. Pirate code. Rule one. Harlow's the boss. Rule two. F the board. Rule three. Why are you still reading, pig? Wake up. If you're seeing this, this board already owns you. You were looking for rules. Why? Because life's a game to you. Maybe you like being played. You guzzle down that sense of security like it's purple flavored opium. F the rules and F terminals. It's not a revolution if we're using the weapons they raised against us time and time again. From the front lines or the riots to the corporate sit-ins and error document pirates code has been exceeded character limit. If Harlow wrote this, he is a lunatic. Acquisition logs. Independent freighter, cat's meow, haul, contraband pharmaceuticals, summary brought down, salvage cargo, ransomed crew. Independent freighter, getaway sticks, haul, subversive literature, brought down, salvage cargo, crew joined up. Freighter, werewolf, haul, engine parts. Summary brought down, salvage cargo, crew jettisoned in escape pod. As usual, we were able to intercept these ships despite how cleverly they masked their heat signatures. Our patron pulled through again with that tracking data. Don't know how they get their hands on it, but we're in no position to refuse charity. Their patron. Crew, I'm beginning to wonder about our patron. When we opened up our scanners and sniffed the system for our latest wildcat, we picked up a signal from a corporate freighter nearby. It was hauling ten times more cargo than our target. No sooner did we scan it than a message came through ordering us to go after the Wildcat instead. Something doesn't add up. Until I get answers, stay skeptical. Oh, wait. Have they been used by another company? So it gave them information on their competitors so that their ships could pass through safely. Should we ask about that? I gotta fix. Hello. Something on your mind? You wanna tell me about this patron of yours? Let's hear it. No. All right, what's around here then? That's interesting. So there is a lot more happening here. Maybe the informant doesn't work for the board, but they're actually working for this patron. Where's their ship exactly? All I see is this little tugboat sort of looking shuttle. It's no unreliable, I'll give you that. Right, where is... That was it. We're going to see Rosanna on the Groundbreaker. Okay, let's have a look at the map. We are closer to Monarch than we are the Groundbreaker. So I say we go to Monarch and we help Nyoka finish her... Well, her unfinished business. Let's go hunt us a Manta Queen. Which would be closer... I don't really know where we're going. Let's go to Stella Bay. Once we get there, we can always have a look and see if we want to go to a different pad instead. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Hell yeah, Ada. Last time we were here, that blockade was literally falling out of the sky. Can we even see? Oh, find the glass. Can we even see their blockade ships? No, we cannot. Right. We don't need to worry about that anyway. Let's get everybody together. Please avoid danger. Oh, yeah, I'll avoid dangering myself. Now, I'm going to say Ellie and Nyoka for this. Nyoka, obviously. Ellie, she's always good in a scrap. Home sweet home, eh, Nyoka? Now, let's look. At the region map. Where are we headed? Oh, we need to move. Let's... Is that the Cascadia landing pad over there? Do we want to go to... There's Fallbrook. I think Cascadia might be... Far easier. Right, okay, back on the ship. Let's get Ada to just drop us off. I ain't walking all that far when we can fly that far. 
especially our monarch. Places teeming with beasts. Well, there's a warning that this is a dangerous landing pad for a reason. What do we got? Marauders? You grew up in Byzantium, right? Don't rub it in. Oh, don't get all prickly. I just haven't met someone who left the high life on purpose. I'm from there, but I'm not really from there, if you follow. I follow. You might have been born there, but you didn't didn't fit in. Right. Come on then. Let's I think it's just creatures. We might be able to run and gun it. Oh, they're just little sprats. Oh, they're rabid sprats. Oh, I'm sorry, sprats, but you're going to attack me. Oh, follow on, Yoka. Let's get a fix. Okay, let's try to leave uh, as many sprats alone as we can. It seems a lot safer than last time we were here. Then again, last time we were here, we kind of shot our way through indiscriminately. It is rather haunting with the downed neon signs and the speakers on their way out trying to play the jingle. Can we hack this door yet, do you think? Or do we need to run around? Yeah, no way. Oh, there they are, Marauders. Right, we need some more... Oh, sorry, ladies. There, right, there they are. We need more Marauder gear, so... Don't know if we're going to be getting a helmet from that gentleman. You hiding? You scared? I'm not scared. Not with my company and this gun. Oh, sugar. Okay, I'm not scared if I miss. Right. Oh, hello. Everyone all right? Yep. Definitely not scared. Grab that. Come on. Just need some armor. That's all I need. I'll take the mag picks. Right. Okay, that, that sounded a lot cooler in my head when I thought, oh, I know, I'll just start shooting and I'll spin left to right. I need a gun that big to do that sort of thing. No, we're not getting any gear. Right, keep your eyes out then, ladies, for more Marauder armor. Maybe if we didn't riddle it with bullets, it would be wearable. Okay, just keep shooting. Oh, it's the swarms. Right, it's just a warm-up for what we're going to face soon. I forgot how hideous they were until they were up close. Ugh. No, you guys don't have any armor either. Well, then again, that armor set wouldn't even have any trousers. Might have shorts, but I don't want to follow that train of thought. Oh! Yeah! Some more! Oh, that's a Manta Queen! You ladies okay? Oh. Yeah, take one of these! Oh, I hate the Manta Swarms the most! They won't try that again! Oh! They better not. Right, where's the Manta Queen? They normally have stuff in their stomachs. Maybe not this time. Not. There's a helmet. We have a helmet. All we need is the armor. I thought that challenge for Celeste, or the task she gave us, was to find a set of spacer gear. Marauder gear and sugar while we're here. What are they called again? The Iconoclast. That's it. Iconoclast gear as well would be easy. 
But apparently not. Nyoka, is this the place? Oh, people have been trying to get in here. Ah, there we are. Sketchy low pressure. Perfect. Right, that's one of the sets. Whew. Here we go. I haven't set foot in here since... Well, I'm ready. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Here we go. Are you ready? Because we've got you back. You're not going in alone. Error. Ownership data corrupted. Storage data corrupted. Contact your nearest mechanical and to pass code. Caron. Passcode accepted. Transition to the Mantisaur Hive. Oh, this isn't going to be pleasant, is it? Nyoka, any idea what we should expect beyond giant manta queens? Seriously, it's almost too quiet. I imagine Nyoka's too worried and anxious to have a lot of banter to throw around. Oh, there's some Mantasaur drones. This might be a good place to start a fight. Because we could back up. But then again, I don't think there's going to be too many down in this immediate area. Right. Come on! Thank you! Go on, you can get in there. Is this the whole base? Oh. That's a very interesting ceiling you had. It's very windy up there right now, though. I I thought the Manta Queen would be in here waiting for us. And do you mind if I rummage around a little? I don't want to tread on anyone's toes. Who do we have here? Opal. That's one. Vented Mark III. I think that's Iconoclast. Anything else? No. I, I want to be somewhat respectful. Considering this is... Almost like a mausoleum for Nyoka's friends. Oh, they brought in a raptor on Matriarch. Oh, did they eat the little baby sprats? No, not sprats. Raptodons. Did they eat the baby raptodons? I'm a little less upset about the baby raptodons. Right, this wraps around. Are these feathers? Or are they just stalks from the plants here? Where's the other body? Did I walk past it? Some ah, here we are. Clara. No sign of this Manta Queen, Nyoka. It's a little worrying. Right. You ready? I'm going to place those primal glands. That should lure us in. Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. So did I. But I ain't. 
mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. It... It did feel... A little bit different when we walked in, but let's let you talk. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. Wait, so you built this? That... Giant front door and everything. We hauled in steel. Hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while. Scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca. A sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors. Who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara. Her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first, but for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. Yeah? I'm surprised. Must have been a brave kid. More like attached at the hip to her older sister. Got a kind of strength between them, I suppose. She had a head for numbers. Helped us trade hides for food and materials. Negotiated contracts. Turned out to be mighty useful. A very capable Clara, kid. Hayes, Anders, Rebecca... Opal, and me. Six folks, one name. One family. Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. Well, I'm, I'm sorry they aren't here to see him kick some... I'm sorry they aren't here to see us kick some manty ass. But you were a family, and I'm... I'm sorry they're gone, Mioka. Me too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I found another. Now let's get to shooting before I get all sentimental. And after this, we're going to have to think about how we can shove our crew names together, right? Okay, I guess it's on. Okay. Oh, ladies. Oh, this isn't a good start. Come on. I'll keep inhaling for all of us. Ow. Okay. Okay. Ow. What? I feel like I'm being... Okay, it's just a, that mantle pillar firing. I thought it was something behind us. We got it. Get the mantle swarm. Oh, I did not do very well there. I panicked a lot. Oh, you are one ugly beast. You have a hell of a lot inside of you, though. Let's take all that junk. Okay, that came out of nowhere. I I knew we were waiting for her. I didn't realize it was going to kick off all that quickly with all the sort of little hivey creatures. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You're welcome, Nyoka. You're completely welcome always aboard the Unreliable. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd, I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. Of course. I... Is... I, I kind of think you should hold on to the medallions. Because you should bury everybody else's, but... You should be keeping yours, at least. Because you're not dead, you're still here. You know, you're still there fighting and experiencing everything on behalf of your family. What? Why? Those painful memories, Captain. Well, 
I'm not going to say what I do, just steal them. That's that's cynical. If she buries them, they'll be safe. They, they'll they help you remind you of both the good and the bad. Not just the bad. You're always going to miss them. You don't want to just be ignorant of their existence. You want to remember all those good times you had together. Like you are right now, being in here. Huh. That's... That ain't a bad point. All right, Captain. Thanks. Well, you ready to leave? Clara Hodges, the closest thing to a sister that I ever lost. The closer lost. Are they like little haikus? His most, oh, Jackson Hayes, his most egregious crime was having the gall to die before me. Anders Watsworth, between raptodons and women, he died doing what he loved, chasing tail. <laughs> oh, Nyoka, that is a stroke of genius. Okay, they're just little poems, I don't think they're haiku. Rebecca Hodges, at the very least, you came back to us in the end. And finally, Opal Obliet. One of the very few who deserved better. Come on. Let's level up just while Nyoka's gathering her things. We wanted Persuade. I, I was just gunning Persuade right now. Let's get it to 100. I feel a lot better now it's at 100. Perks. This is another tricky decision. Your next attack after killing an enemy is a guaranteed critical hit. That could be a useful one. All area of effect and plasma damage dealt to you is reduced. That's just a handy one to have, I believe. Let's go with that. Anything that's going to keep us alive is... good in my books. Now, what next? We have Friendship's due with Felix on the Groundbreaker. And since there's nothing else to do down here, come on ladies, let's go back to the ship. <laughs> 